what did it feel like you know, running out in Leinster Rugby Colours as a young lad growing up in Leinster? Yeah, it's a bit of a surreal experience, I suppose. It's something that you've been working towards for the last few years and when it actually happens then, um, I suppose it's just about treating it then as another game. You don't want to work yourself up too much because you have to deliver, I suppose, on the pitch at the end of the day. So it was great. It was an away match over in Newport, Gwent Dragons. The rain was pounding down, the crowd were loud. So uh, it was a good experience, all right, but uh, it's something that I won't forget for a long time, definitely. Today, obviously, is the academy uh, graduation ceremony, but it is ultimately about playing Leinster rugby uh, for the senior team. Yeah, today I suppose is just a nice way to mark the transition that like a lot of lads don't like give their left arm to get into the academy and then to be able to get the chance to move on to development contracts next year, it's definitely something worth worth marking and getting the family up, I suppose. Like, uh, yeah, what you see on the pitch, I suppose, is the culmination of years work. So it is nice to have these days when the stress is off and you can just relax and enjoy what you've achieved, I suppose. It's great seeing them all and it's great actually um, most of these players that have come through came through on Gervin's watch and obviously he's moved up to the seniors now so there's been a great bit of continuity between you know Gervin's time in the academy and the players time and uh, you know I was lucky enough that I was with some of those players for the last six months before they passed through the academy. The families and the friends, great day for them too and being able to celebrate in their young lads achievements. Yeah phenomenal because I mean we think you know rugby guys give up a huge amount, but their families give up just as much uh, an equal amount. Whether it's you know missed uh, kind of family occasions or having to take holidays at certain times of year, and the sacrifices they put in for their sons to get to this point is also huge, and that's worthy of recognition as well. So, who would have maybe stood out for you, Pater, in terms of your career getting to this point? Um, well, I the first time I got a rugby ball in my hands really was when I went to school. So I came up through the school system, and I was lucky in Clongus. We had great coaches there one that sticks out and that's actually come the whole way through with me pretty much as Noel McNamara. Um, he really brought the team together, he was a great coach even at under 13's level, like he was still putting in the same detail and preparation that he is now, so really delighted for him that he's made the transition up as well with me, so I would have had him in school, had him then for senior cup for two years as well and have him again now here in the academy skills coach. You know, you've got your first senior rugby contract under your belt which was announced uh, a couple of months ago. I'd imagine just uh, looking forward to next season, get a good pre-season under the belt and your first proper season as a, as a Leinster rugby senior uh, rugby player. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, it'll be all about pre-season now. The help would be to try and get some more senior starts under the belt next year.